Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I have a super simple layered card to share with you today. Sometimes you just need a card and you need it in a hurry. And this butterfly was so detailed and intricate. I just thought it was really pretty. And I had plans to add more to this, but sometimes it just kind of comes together and you don't want to spoil it by adding anything more. So I'm starting off right on my white card base. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that butterfly image. You'll notice as I stamp, I chose Gina K Amalgam Ink. I was originally going to color this in with Copics. So I decided to stamp it with um, an alcohol ink friendly, uh, alcohol marker friendly ink. Sorry, I can talk today, I promise. Um, and I'm stamping it. It's such a fine, detailed, ethereal image. I'm stamping it plenty of times on there because I wanted it to be nice um, and crisp and dark with all those fine details. I didn't want to miss a single one and I wanted them really clear. And then I went ahead and came in with the sentiment. Um, I like to line it up underneath using the grid on my Misty and the grid on my desk was kind of throwing me off. So I had to line up the Misty with the grid on the desk. But I went ahead and just stamped that with VersaFine ink. I wasn't planning on coloring over that. So um, I find it, that's my, kind of my go-to ink um, a lot of times just for black sentiments like that. So I went ahead and stamped that on there. Now I'm gonna grab that butterfly back and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp and heat emboss this on the vellum. So I'm using my embossing powder tool just to keep anything from sticking. I'm using clear embossing ink. Originally I was gonna stamp this with white embossing powder um, or heat emboss it with white embossing powder because I was gonna color that butterfly in. I still wanna try that sometime because I think it would be really pretty, but I started looking at it once I'd stamped it at how pretty it was and I thought, you know, that just needs a little gold. It just felt like it needed that glamorous, glitzy gold touch. So I switched mid card there and went ahead and heat embossed it with gold embossing powder. And then I came, vellum is really easy to fussy cut. It's so fine and um, it's just easy to get your scissors in there and get nice and close to the image. So I just went around and cut just the body and the wings out. I left all those extra little um, detail antenna extra bits on there. Um, I'm just gonna leave those in the black, but I went around very carefully, cutting as close to the image as I could without cutting over that stamped line. And then I'm just gonna adhere that right over the center of the butterfly, but I wanna leave the wings free. Um, the nice thing with that gold embossing powder, it's gonna hide my adhesive a little more. Excuse the back of my head there. I just went ahead and added just a touch of glossy accents over the body on the card. Um, when you're using a liquid glue, you don't wanna use too much because it'll kinda, first of all, it'll push out from under your image, but it'll also kinda bubble your cardstock. But I just adhered it in that center there. It's a good sturdy um, adhesive that's gonna dry nice and sturdy, but left those wings floating free. Just added the perfect amount of dimension, easy and flat to mail, but still kind of just a fun touch and a super elegant card. Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.